Okay, so hello learners, thank you for your love and support and this time we have decided to improve our content by introducing three new plans. So statistically it is shown that only 27% of the total registered students clear the qualifier, but 52% of our enrolled students clear the paper with flying colors after joining this program. So one may ask like what are the perks one will get after joining the program? One will get access to classes from expert faculties, live doubt classes to resolve all your doubts and detailed conceptual solution of all graded assignments, PVZ papers, mock tests and all materials that required to confirm your selection in qualifier and continue your journey in IT Madras, we are all gonna provide it. And you will also be added to member exclusive WhatsApp and Telegram group for instant reply and doubt resolution. And you know what? All this for just Rs 599 which is just one time investment for a month. So, what are you waiting for? Grab the opportunity to call yourself an IITN. So, we also have other plans like for 119 we will provide detailed solution of all graded assignment for your qualifier as eligibility to appear for qualifier exam depends on your marks in the graded assignment. One will also be added to member exclusive WhatsApp and Telegram group for instant reply and doubt resolution for just 119 rupees which is all it takes to confirm your hall ticket for the qualifier exam. And lastly, we are there to help you after your qualifier selection by providing detailed conceptual solution of all graded assignment, previous year papers, interim quiz, revision sessions, and everything, all the materials that are required for you to have a very good grade in your IT journey, and all the doubts will be cleared using the exclusive member-only WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Thank you for your love and support, and for more details, you can visit our website. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to IITM Student Community Panel. This is the part 2 solution video of Maths 1 graded assignment questions. So let's start with question number 6. This is our question number 6. A set is given A equal to A such that A belongs to natural number set and A less than equal to 36. R1 and R2 be relations from H to S defined as such that this is R1 and this is R2. We have to find the cardinality of the set R1 difference R1 meet R2. So this is our S set. Natural number set up to 36. Right? So S is like zero, one, two. 3 up to 36. This is our S set. Now R1 set. How is our R1 set? It xy such that xy belongs to H, S and y equals to 3x. So our R1 set is like 0, 0, 1, 3, 2, 6. 3,9 like this and up to this 12,36. So the cardinality of the set R1 is there is 13 element. So cardinality of the set R1 is 13. Now how is our R2 set? It is said that R2 set is like y equals to x square. x y belongs to x. So the elements of the set R2 are 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, 3,9. 4 comma 16 5 25 6 36 right so this is our R2 set and cardinality of the set okay now we have to find R1 meet R2 right R1 meet R2 so what are the common elements in R1 and R2? There are only two elements 0, 0 and 3, 9. 
these are common elements in R1 and R2. Now we have to find the cardinality of the state R1 different R1 meet R2. So this state is like the elements of the R1 which are not belong which are not belong to the state R1 meet R2. So this state is like all the elements of R1 except these two elements. Right? So cardinality of the state of this state will be the cardinality of the state R1 is 30 and the cardinality of the state R1 meet R2 is 2. So cardinality of this state this state is 13 minus 2 that is 11. So this is our answer. Right. So eleven is our correct answer. Now I am going to the next question, question number 7. In the question it is said that in a zoo there are 6 Bengal white tigers and 8 Bengal royal tigers. Out of these tigers, 5 are males and 10 are either Bengal royal tigers or males. Find the number of female Bengal white tigers in the zoo. So, here, suppose BW is Bengal white tiger, BR is Bengal royal tiger, N means male tiger, right. Now, if we draw the Venn diagram of this question, it look like this. Here, I take the number of male Bengal royal tigers as x. So the number of Bengal royal tigers is 8 minus 6 and male tigers 5 minus 6. So number of Bengal royal tigers given as 8. Number of male tigers is given 5 and the number of Bengal royal tiger or male tiger number of Bengal royal tiger or male tiger is equal to 10. Now we know a formula that is number of beer union M what is the formula? It is number of Bengal royal plus number of male minus number of male Bengal royal tiger. We have to find this. And we are given these numbers. It is 10 and Bengal royal tiger 8, male tiger 5 and we have to find this male Bengal royal tiger. If we simplify this, it is 10. number of male Bengal royal tiger is 313 minus 10 is 3 number of male Bengal royal tiger right now we are given 5 are male that means the number of male 
number of male Bengal white tiger equal to 5 minus 3 equal to 2. So, out of 6 Bengal white tigers, 2 are male. So, the number of female Bengal white tigers is 6 minus 2, that is 2. This is our answer. Question number 8. Here it is two relations are given R1 and R2. And question is which of the following option is true? R1 is reflexive but not symmetric. R2 is both reflexive and symmetric. R2, R1 is neither symmetric nor transitive. R2 is both reflexive and transitive. So we have to check for the two relations reflexive symmetric and transitive property first start with r1 relation it is r1 equal to a comma b such that b equal to a plus 1 b equal to a plus 1 and a comma b belongs to matrix number 6 for reflexive property, we can see a comma a cannot belong to R1 because a can't be equal to a plus 1, right? So a comma a not belong to R1, so R is not reflexive, right? Next one is symmetric property. For symmetric property, let a comma b belongs to R1. So, b is equal to a plus 1. Right. So, a is equal to b minus 1. That means, b comma a not belongs to R1, right? So, symmetric, not symmetric. Next one is transitive property. For that, let A comma B belongs to R1. That means B is equal to A plus 1. Also, B comma B belongs to R1. That means B is equal to B plus 1. Now B is equal to A plus 1. So it is A plus 1 plus 1. That is A plus 2. So we can say A comma C not belongs to R1. So it is not transitive. Right? So if we check the option R1 is reflexive but not symmetric, it is not reflexive and R1 is neither symmetric nor transitive. Yes, here it is. This is our correct option. R1 is neither symmetric nor transitive. Now let's check with the relation R2. Here R2 is given like A comma B such that B greater than A such that A comma B belongs to natural number 6. So, for reflexive property, if we take element A comma A, so it is belongs to R2 as we can say A greater than equal to A. Sorry, it is belongs to R2. A comma A belongs to R2. So, it is reflexive. R2 is reflexive, right? And now for symmetric property, let's take A comma B belongs to R2. So B greater than equal to A. So it's not possible to A 
greater than equal to b so b comma a bar belongs to r2 so r2 is not symmetric and for transitive property we take a comma b belongs to r2 so b greater than equal to a and b comma c belongs to r2 that means b sorry it's c greater than equal to b and here b greater than equal to a so we can say that c greater than equal to a that means a comma c belongs to r2 so you can see r2 is transitive right now let's check the option the last option r2 is both reflexive and transitive here r2 is reflexive and transitive so option number last option is our correct third and fourth option our correct option next is our question number 9 consider the set a a is equal to 3k such that a k belongs to natural number set so a is like 0 3 6 9 12 like that after infinity and define a function a such that natural number set to the a set so natural number set is our domain set and this a set is our codomain set such that fn is equal to 6n which of the following option is true f is 1 1 but not on 2 f is neither 1 1 nor on 2 so we have to check f is 1 1 or on 2 ok so for 1 1 we know that each element in the domain set has exactly one unit in the range in the codomain set right that means if we take two elements in the domain set n1 and n2 here n1 not equal to n2 so if n1 equal to 6n1 and if n2 is equal to 6n2 as n1 not equal to n2 so f n1 not equal to f n2 right so f is obviously 1 1 now if we check for on 2 for to be a function on 2 we know that every element in the co domain set should have a 3 image in the domain set right now here a set is our codomain set but we can clearly see that the element in the codomain set 3 3 has no pre image in the domain set as our function is like f n is equal to 6 n so we never get a pre image of the element 3 so f is not on 2 so the option f is 1 1 but not on 2 this is our right option Here is our right option, option number 1. F is 1 1 but not on 2. This is our right option.